There are no winners in this sad case. On December the 15th last year, two families lost a grandson, killed at the hands of his father, Raphael Kennedy. Today the courts heard how Raphael Kennedy beat his son with such ferocity that he caused multiple rib fractures and devastating internal damage to his major organs, which ultimately led to his death. Despite the unbearable pain and suffering that Dinan would have been in, Kennedy failed to call the emergency services for a significant period of time. No one knows whether early medical intervention may have saved his life. Blood tests showed that Dylan had an extremely high levels of cocaine and other Class A drugs in his system at the time of his death, something which Kennedy admitted being responsible for. To be absolutely clear, six nationally recognised professional experts all agreed that the catastrophic injuries which caused Dylan's death cannot be explained by a simple fall or any pre-existing condition. They were caused as a result of a horrific and brutal assault. It's unimaginable for most of us to believe that a parent could be responsible for killing their child. But this is what happened on December the 15th last year. Sadly, Dylan was brutally beaten to death by his father, Raphael Kennedy, just 10 days before Christmas. I'd like to read a statement on behalf of Dylan's mum. Dylan was truly the most perfect little boy you could ever meet. He had a smile as bright as the sun. His eyes were like crystal stars above, and his love was the best feeling in the world. Dylan loved singing and dancing, but now he will be dancing in the sky. Knowing I won't get to hold my baby again leaves a pain like no other. Your footprints have left a forever memory in my heart. My sleeping prints, I love you, Dill. I want to take this opportunity to thank Northamptonshire Police for their hard work and support in this last year.